copying MIDI events inside of Cubase is pretty straightforward, and most of you will know how to do that. However, I bet some of you have created a shared copy without realizing it, and it's really started to boil your piss. Let's take a look at what a shared copy is. Here in the main project window of Cubase, I have two instrument tracks with two identical MIDI events. Now for you beginners, I'll show you a couple of ways in which you can copy an event over. For the more advanced users who want to know what a shared copy is, use the timestamp to skip ahead. So to copy an individual event, you can select it and then hold your left mouse down and hold the alternate key down and you'll be able to do a drag and drop copy. The next way we can do this is by clicking the event, pressing Ctrl and C, set your cursor to a location and then press Ctrl and V to paste. You can also duplicate events by pressing Ctrl and D like so. And if you want to copy multiple events, you can drag a box over the events you want to select and again, do all the previous things I showed you and they will work on multiple events. Now onto the meat and potatoes. What is a shared copy or a shared MIDI event? When selecting your event or events, if you hold alternate and shift at the same time and then do a drag and drop duplication, that means at the top right here, you'll see this symbol that looks kind of like a hamburger. And this is to indicate that it's a shared copy. Now, if I edit one of these by changing the notes, if it's in the key editor, or we'll do it in the quick edit in place, I can move a note around here, add notes in, and you'll see how for this track, this event is sharing the same info. So anything I do on one of these will affect the other one identically but also it's kept it independent from the other track and its events. So if we come up here to this one, again, add some notes in, move them around, you can see how it's affected this event as well. Now, the only thing is, it doesn't matter where you move the event, if you then start editing, it's still going to be linked together. So how do you unlink your events? What you do is select the ones that you want to unlink, then go up to the edit menu at the top, go to functions and then go to convert to real copy and this will unlink those selected events. Now you may be wondering can you right click and go to functions and then find that same setting? No it's only from the main menu unfortunately I wish it was added into the right clicks functions list it'd make a lot of sense however if you want a quick way to unlink them you can bind this action to a keystroke. To do that go to edit, then key commands, and then at the top, just type out convert, and you'll see it pop up in the list, and from here, you can assign a keystroke to it. If you're on an older version of Cubase, just check the edit tree in the folders, and you'll be able to find convert to real copy there as well. Hopefully you found this video useful. I know there'll probably be a few of you out there that have created shared copies of MIDI events in your projects without realizing it and then got really f***ed off because you couldn't figure out why all the MIDI was behaving in the way it was. Well, hopefully that solved the problem for you now. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.